I cannot see my home, my country. Where did they take my people? Who will take care of me down there? To meet the demand of having to transport human cargo, ships had to be redesigned. Tight packers held up to 1,000 captives, seated below deck with no space between them. Loose packers carried approximately 250 captives, locked in a prone position, arranged on wooden racks six feet long and one foot wide. The average length of the journey was eight weeks. We heard the moans, cries, and rumblings coming from below. And as soon as the captain and crew were removed, the hatches had been taken off, when there arose a hot blast, sickening and overpowering. In the hold were three or four hundred human beings, gasping and struggling for breath. Some were stiffened in the most unnatural positions. J. Taylor Wood, Anti-Slavery Squadron. Early slave ships did not provide ventilation for the crowded conditions below. If you look at some of the surgeons who worked on some of these slave ships, they'll tell you how hot it got in some of uh, these uh, slave holes, that sometimes the candles that the surgeons used to see uh, in the holes often would not burn because there was not enough oxygen. It is an unbearable situation. And when you, you speak about it, even the visual doesn't do it. You've got to get the smell. The slave ships had names like Brotherhood, John the Baptist, Justice and Integrity, Gift of God, Liberty, and Jesus. The crews came from around the world, men and boys. <laughs> 